Hey everyone, today I'm pitting the Amazfit BIP6 against the Whoop 5.0. Yes, the Whoop band that you see everywhere nowadays. One is a screen-free recovery coach, the other a budget smartwatch with GPS and Bluetooth call answering. I wore both for workouts, sleep, and daily life for some time now, and the results were not what I expected. Which one actually makes you better day to day? Let's find out. Before all that, just a quick heads up. I've got exclusive discount codes for both the Whoop 5.0 and the Amazfit BIP6 wearable tech. You'll find them in the description below, and I'll pop a QR code on screen right here so you can jump straight to the deals while you watch. Now, talking about the design. I want to talk about the Whoop 5.0 first. I'm on the Whoop 5.0 Peak membership here. It's minimalist, has a screen-free band that disappears under a sleeve with interchangeable straps. Think super knit or leather options. It's water resistant for up to 10 meters and the big win is the battery life. 14 plus days plus this on wrist charging pack so I never break my tracking. You basically charge this via USB-C and slip this onto the actual Whoop device, like so, and now I'm charging my device without ever breaking my tracking. Now the Amazfit BIP6, a true smartwatch vibe. It has a 1.97 inch AMOLED display that cranks up to 2000 nits, so it's easy to see in bright daylight, has an aluminum alloy frame with a sporty silicone strap and five ATM water resistance. I get built-in GPS, a touchscreen plus two physical buttons on the side, and a battery life rated around 14 days of typical usage, or six days if I'm really hammering the features. And that gets topped up with a magnetic dock. It looks and behaves like a full smartwatch. The Amazfit BIP6 feels more present. This big AMOLED display makes it noticeable on the wrist, especially when I'm trying to sleep. But the silicone strap is soft, and once I settle in, it's wearable for long hours. Great for commuting, meetings, and outdoor sessions. Because it's silicone, it is a bit of a struggle to get it on and into position, but once it's there, it's pretty comfortable. Day to day, the Whoop 5.0 is the definition of low profile. It's light, screen-free, and disappears under your sleeve, so it's easy to forget during sleep and workouts. The strap blends into daily wear, gym, office, even a dress shirt. I personally don't even notice the band on a day-to-day -day basis, whether I'm driving, at the gym, or sleeping. It's like I'm not even wearing it, which is really nice. So, if you're already weighing Whoop versus Amazfit, don't forget there are special deals for both down below in the description. Tap the links or scan the on-screen QR codes to grab the discounts while you watch. Let's talk about tracking, starting with the Whoop 5.0. Just to be clear, I have the Peak membership myself, so I get continuous tracking of vitals, heart rate, HRV, skin temperature, SpO2, and respiratory rate feeding into the core scores. Strain score tracks cardiovascular effort all day, while recovery score blends HRV, sleep, and resting heart rate to tell me how hard to push. Sleep breaks into stages and the sleep coach suggests target bedtime and wake up windows. Peak also unlocks the stress monitor for real-time stress levels and the health monitor to flag key vitals at a glance. And lastly, the pace of aging and health span score to track long-term progress. It will auto detect workouts and estimate VO2 max from my training. Quick note, there's no ECG, AFib, or blood pressure insights here. Those require the Life membership and the Whoop MG device. On the Amazfit BIP6, I see the classic health set. Heart rate, HRV, SpO2, stress, breathing rate, sleep stages, and cycle tracking for women with fitness tools layered on top. There are 140 plus sport modes, auto recognition of 25 strength exercises, and ZEP coach with AI guided plans for 3K, 5K, 10K, and full marathons. For quick checks, one tap measurement grabs heart rate, SpO2, stress, and breathing rate in about 45 seconds. Sleep adds a sleep breathing score and nap detection. Training readiness leans on peak beats for a readiness score and recovery cues, and you still get PAI or personal activity intelligence to gamify your weekly activity. Now let's discuss the experience with both apps for the Whoop 5.0 and the Amazfit BIP6, starting with the Whoop app. 
Whoop is a subscription service, so you will need one of their three membership tier subscriptions in order to use the band. It's designed as a long-term investment in recovery and coaching. In the first few weeks with the Whoop band, the app is focused on calibrating your personalized baselines. Some baselines, like sleep for example, take a week to calibrate, while others can take up to 29 days of consistent use. It's calibrating metrics such as heart rate variability, sleep, resting heart rate, and so on. The guidance from the app improves significantly as data accumulates. Once calibrated, the app gives you daily guidance. It color codes your recovery, gives you strain targets such as exercise or activity, and sleep coaching by giving you recommendations on when you should start winding down for bed, when to go to sleep, and when to wake up. This pairs well with the haptic alarm you can set in the app to gently wake you up in the morning. It's one of my personal favorite features. You get all that with the One membership, their first tier. I have the Peak membership, which is the next one up. This unlocks a stress monitor, health monitor, pace of aging, and a health span score, giving you quick snapshots that nudge behavior. Now for the user experience in the app. It's very focused, minimal, and coaching first. There's fewer smartwatch extras and has a more athlete performance style dashboard. For a recovery first routine, this feels very polished and very cohesive. I personally love the Whoop app and I like it more than the Zep app, which is what's used for the AmazeFit BIP6. Speaking of the Zep app and the AmazeFit, unlike Whoop, it is a one time purchase. You do not need a subscription for app features. You purchase the device and you're ready to rock and roll. The smartwatch aspect of the AmazeFit is something that you'd see with most smartwatches. You get notifications from your phone, quick replies on Android devices, call handling, watch face galleries, and widgets or apps that you can install onto your watch. Then there's the fitness suite. You get a readiness score based on your sleep and biometrics, ZEP coaching training plans, one tap measurement for an overall snapshot of your body's metrics, and a sleep breathing score. There's also sports breadth. With 140 plus activity modes, strength training auto rep summaries, route maps with offline maps, and turn by turn on the watch. You can also sync the Zep app and AmazeFit with Strava, Apple Health, and Google Fit for exports and sharing. The user experience is highly customizable and feature rich. It's definitely a bit busier than Whoop, but ideal if you want smartwatch utility with fitness features. So, which screen do I open first thing in the morning and why? I've found myself reaching for the Whoop app before reaching for my AmazeFit. The recovery scores and my sleep insights for the night are nice and easy to look at, and I also just enjoy the Whoop app a lot more. That said, each morning the AmazeFit does give you a readiness score that you can quickly glance at at any point in the morning as well. I just find the Whoop app giving me a bit more details and guidance than the AmazeFit. And because of that, after a few weeks of wearing both, the Whoop app has nudged me more to make daily habit changes, specifically with my sleep. The wind down, sleep, and wake up times are tailored to me because the app has learned my personal baseline and routine so well that the recommendations actually help. So, AmazeFit versus Whoop. If you want a full smartwatch at a low price, the AmazeFit BIP6 is easy to recommend. 140 plus sport modes and the Zep Coach make it versatile for casual training or running plans. The battery life is solid and with no subscription, costs stay down. For many, the AmazeFit BIP6 is the best budget fitness tracker that does almost everything. But for me, the Whoop 5.0 wins. It's built like a performance tool, slim, screen-free, 24-7 tracking, and its recovery and strain score helped me know when to push and when to rest. Sleep coach and stress monitoring gave daily guidance that felt actionable. And with peak membership, those long-term metrics like health span and the pace of aging score add real value to my life. If you value consistency, it's my pick for the best fitness tracker. So my choice, Whoop 5.0. It made balancing workouts and recovery simple. And yes, there's a special whooping Whoop discount down below in the description. Thank you for watching. Check out our other health news tech reviews, especially our dedicated Whoop review, plus more wearable deep dives.